and um, almost 10 years ago, we were, Sandra was, had gone to, had gone to college there and was, um, had been playing music already for a couple of years and put out a record and um, the band I was with before were in Nashville recording a record and we were a couple doors down on a Saturday afternoon recording from a uh, coffee shop where she was playing some music. She and some other friends were playing on a Saturday afternoon in this place, packed full of people and I basically drew the short, short straw to go down and get coffee for everybody at the studio and um, so I went down there and sat down and listened and I only caught the last two songs. But the last one was one of hers. And I saw them come in in the back door. And, uh, I, didn't, I didn't really know the band at the time. I didn't know they were. It was one of the things I liked about you. <laughs> and uh, so then I picked up her record. And I mean, we didn't even really meet that day. And um, got, as an alibi, I got, uh, I got the band all into her stuff, which they did immediately. And then the idea was proposed to have her come out and open some shows for us. And I asked her if she would. And, so I, I decided I would spearhead that. And, uh, so we, so we, so she came out on the road with us. Uh, I mean, like, we, we just didn't even know each other. She had a boyfriend at the time. And uh, literally two months after we met, we got engaged. Uh, which included a, a move for me from Houston to Nashville, wow. chasing her. And uh, so we literally, we met, like, it was it, uh, May of, Beginning of May of 2000, by the end of May, I, I had moved to Nashville and on a, a friend's couch. I, mean, I had no plan how I was going to make that work, but I just knew I was, I was chasing her. And so I moved to Nashville, and then, and then uh, at the end of May, in May by, the, by the middle of uh, July, we were engaged. And then five months later, married. That was almost 10 years ago. So wow. It worked out. Wow.